In my previous Paleo Q&A video, I used a quote from this guy. He's the machine learning lead at Singularity 6 and is currently wrapped up in a project to attempt to teach AI to be nice to people through collecting short sentences from the community that represent kindness. If you want to contribute to that, there's a link in the description. Now that we're past that, seeing their project reminded me of a blog from Singularity 6's company site that was about using machine learning to aid in social matchmaking. What I want to talk about today is this concept, and I'm not saying Paleo will have this, just that they spawned the topic idea in my head. I'm mostly making this video because the topic was interesting to me, but then again I find paper interesting, so maybe I'm just weird. First, I'm going to attempt to explain some key terms, but I'm neither working in game design nor have studied anything AI related, so this could be a bit off. Matchmaking is any system that attempts to group players, whether it's for competitive games, grouping people by skill for the best match, or most MMOs, where people are just thrown together based on whether or not they want a PvP. Okay, the latter may not actually be matchmaking, but Maybe Group Finder, where people are thrown together based on roles? I don't know, you get what I'm saying. Machine learning is a process where you use data or algorithms in an attempt to allow an AI to make intelligent decisions, sort of like a human would. This can be done in multiple forms, and my favorite is something like AlphaGo, because I love that game, and it was amazing to see the results, but I don't want to be too attached to stuff that I don't completely understand. Instead, let's turn to the potential outcomes. We know that Palea is hoping to be a community-based MMO, and that we'll have numerous different things that we can do in the world, from mining to cooking to hunting. In most MMOs, you select your server and play with people in instances where there's no real decision on who you're playing with. This process may as well be completely random and is basically the default in the space. You can be a hunter playing with people who only mine or a cook playing with only other cooks. Maybe a bad example, but I'm sure you can imagine a better one. If we then turn to the machine learning model, we can try to figure out what activities individual people like to do and try to group them with others who also enjoy the same content. So the cooks can play with the cooks. This will generally give those players a better experience in the game than if they were just completely randomly assigned, as all of the players would tend to enjoy the same play styles. Okay, that sounds good, but what are the downsides? Put it simply, it's hard to do well. Everybody has their own way of playing and learning all of these for every player is extremely difficult and time consuming. On top of this, players aren't always going to play the same way every time they log in. One day I might want to hunt and the next I may want to mine. And I generally want to have fun no matter what I'm doing. And even further, this doesn't necessarily help everybody as not everyone has the same play style. Think of it like this. In a regular game, you have tryhards and casuals. The tryhards will play all day and generally push for everything as soon as it comes out with the hopes of being the best. The casuals will still want to try everything, but may not have the time or drive to be pushing through content at the same rate. Those who try hard are more likely to be absorbed in the game outside of it, maybe by watching videos like this. Grouping these players together may not end with everybody having a positive experience, but it may also be helpful in that different players can learn from one another. Making decisions on who to group and when is extremely difficult and has the potential to go very wrong. I didn't cover half of the things that could break this setup, but with that in mind, is purely randomized grouping any better? Honestly, I don't have any solutions to this problem. I just want to hear other people's thoughts on it and maybe thought that they might find it interesting too. My personal feelings are that any machine learning matchmaking doesn't really need to be perfect. It just needs to be better than randomly grouping people together. But that's it for today. I just finished up university, so I'll have a bit more time to dedicate to other things like these videos. I also want to reach a nice balance of news, discussion, and game reviews in the future. You can find another video of mine over here as recommended by YouTube's machine learning algorithm, or here's my Paleo video playlist in whole. Thanks for watching.